Time for another questions and answers video. My third questions and answers video to be exact. I see a lot of you left some great questions and I will start answering 50 or probably more than 50 questions based on how long the video is. Now, if I don't get to all your questions, I will definitely do my fourth question and answers video and I will answer more of the questions for those who I didn't get to. First question comes from Cyrus McKeever. What are your thoughts on Blackish on ABC? Well, all the episodes from 2014 of Blackish, I did not find anything funny. But the episodes so far since the new year, I have actually laughed at times. I can see the show has improved a bit, so it's okay. But I know one thing, it is not the best number one new comedy. I don't care what ABC says. The announcer was just being too nice. I'm the ABC announcer, and I'm nothing but a chicken liver for actually saying Blackish is the best number one new comedy because it's not. Either way, it's Blackish on ABC. <laughs> Epic Gamer12324, are you going to do another rant on Nickelodeon and a review on the 2015 Kids' Choice Awards? I don't know about another Nickelodeon rant. Um, I have done a rant on the 2015 Kids' Choice Awards. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Next questions. Did you watch Thomas the Train? If so, what did you think about it? What are your thoughts on the Magic School Bus franchise? And have you heard of the upcoming Magic 360 Degrees? Do you know the two Nintendo 64 XBLA games called Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie, developed by Rare? I watched Thomas the Train and enjoyed it. I grew up on the Magic School Bus, such great childhood memories. Miss Frizzle's crazy ass. She reminds me of Izzy from the Toad Drama series. I heard the first 26 episodes of Magic 360 Degrees will air next year on Netflix. Boo! Why not air the episodes back on PBS? I also remember seeing commercials of both banjo games on TV back in the day. Moving on. Do not 1999. What do you think about Disney Replay? And how come it only airs on Wednesday nights at midnight? When everyone is asleep, I could barely stay awake. And what do you think about Nick doing the same thing with 90s all that? Why don't they play during the evening when people come back from school? Can you do a rant on the new Disney show, KC Undercover and MTV new show, Finding Carter? If you haven't seen it, please do it. It is awesome. Please write back if you can. I don't know why Disney replay would air at midnight to 5 a.m. while everyone is asleep. Disney Replay should air at 6 p.m. to midnight for everyone to see. Plus, Disney Replay kind of lacks variety. Sure, it has That's So Raven, Even Stevens, freaking Hannah Montana and Corey in the house. Yuck. Also showing the Sweet Life on Deck, Zack and Cody, and the Wizards of Waverly Place back to back. I mean, there's no Lizzie McGuire, Kim Possible, Phil the Future, The Proud Family, etc. Come on, Disney Replay. Step your variety up. And... They don't need to show back-to-back -back reruns of Wizards, Zack and Cody, and On Deck 2. Too bad 90s All That is doing the same thing. I believe I would do a review on KC Undercover. After all, KC, a KC Undercover. And I might do a review on Finding Carter. I mean, I haven't seen the show, so I'll see if I can catch or whatever. I mean, I can't watch everything, but hey. Moving on to Derek McCormick. What do you think about Arthur changing its animation? Do you remember the Angry Beavers? And what are your top five classic favorite Nicktoons? I'm guessing this is the new animation. If it is, it's fine by me. Of course I remember the Angry Beavers. I grew up on that. Speaking of the show itself, my top five classic Nicktoons will have to be the Angry Beavers, Rugrats, Hey Arnold, The Ren and Stimpy Show, and Doug. Silver Sun asks, what are your thoughts on Over the Garden Wall? I thought it was good. Next questions. Cake or pie? Do you like any animes? If so, which one? Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck? Stop motion or CGI? It's so hard to choose between these two desserts. But I would have to go with pie. I do like animes. I like Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon, Inuyasha, One Piece, Full Metal Alchemist, just to name a few. Love both Bugs and Daffy. But I got to go with the bunny and CGI for me, depending on the certain style of it. Next question comes from Tristan Gaddy. 
What would you do if Helga from Hey Arnold treated you like she did to Arnold? Would you get her in trouble or do something to her? Heck yeah, I would get her into trouble, like prank her, and after that slap her silly. Here we have is Pat 6432. Do you watch One Piece? Yes, I do watch One Piece. How did you become so passionate about women? What are your hobbies outside of YouTube? What is your favorite NBA team? And who are your favorite NBA players? I became so passionate about women since puberty. Women are wonderful, beautiful creatures from inside and out. When I'm not on YouTube, I enjoy drawing, watching television, going outside, getting plenty of fresh air, and playing video games. I really don't have a favorite NBA team, even though I live in Michigan and we have the Detroit Pistons. It's been six seasons now since the Pistons have missed the playoffs. This is ridiculous. I miss the days of Chauncey Billups, Rip Hamilton, Tayshaun Prince, Rasheed, and Ben Wallace. Can't forget about the bad boy days of Isaiah Thomas in the gang. As for my favorite NBA players, well, there is Michael Jordan, Will Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Allen Iverson, Tracy McGrady, Grant Hill, Magic Johnson, Steve Nash, Dirk Nowinski, just to name a few. Marilyn Levy, what's the number one thing that you hate about this generation? What do you think of Casey Undercover? Can you do a rant on Ice J Fish on the floor? It's on YouTube. You know, it's a lot of things that I hate about this generation when it comes to YOLO swag, the word bay. But I have to say hearing about people killing others for stupid reasons is the number one thing for hating this generation. As for Casey Undercover, I believe it's pretty decent. After all, KC, a Casey Undercover. I might do a rent on this ice jet fish on the floor thing. What do we have here? If you could travel the world, where would you love to go and why? By the way, I love your videos. Keep up the great work. My mom and I have always talked about going to Keystone, South Dakota to see the great Mount Rushmore. It's nothing like seeing the four presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln, who was my mom's favorite president. It would be nice to go to Hawaii. Such a lovely, beautiful paradise, lovely tropical Hawaiian music. The cute and sexy Hawaiian chicks, hula dancing, grass skirts, and coconut bikini tops. By the way, thank you so much for liking my videos, and I will keep up the great work. What do you think if Family Guy and South Park had a crossover? It would be a pretty cool little crossover. Moving on to Max N. Have you ever listened to Avril Lavigne's music? Yes, I have. I like songs like Complicated. It's a classic song. Skater boy is nice. He was a skater boy. She says, see you later, boy. I like her song, Smile, too. I'm not feeling her song, Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, hello Kitty. You're so pretty, you're so silly. Oh, uh, uh, uh. That's the song people say is racist, which I don't see how it is. Although it was messed up for Avril to say about a fat kid and a pack of Smarties. The music video is no better. The way that the Asian dancers danced all stiffed, a lot of people say she's not the same Avril she was during her tomboy days. She was cute and hot in her tomboy days. Jasmine Chambly, what is your favorite Dan Schneider show from Nickelodeon? What are your thoughts on the 2015 KCAs? Do you like Ariana Grande and her music? The first one is tough. I would have to say Kenan and Kale. The 2015 KCAs was boring and sucked. And if you haven't seen my rant, go check it out. I'll tell you all about it. I do like some songs by Ariana. I like the song Popular with her and Minka together. I like how they create a potion, getting revenge on the popular kids, bullying them, turning them into stone. I was shocked about the video ending twist when Ariana tricked Minka, turning him into stone, all because he kicked her castle made of wooden blocks down when they were children. Oh, grow up, Ariana. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that was pretty clever and sneaky. Colin Neal, do you like the band Evanescence? Yeah, Evanescence is cool. Amy Lee is so freaking hot. Down to earth chick right there. J Master J42, what is your favorite cereal? What are your favorite songs by Biggie, a.k.a. the Notorious B.I.G.? And what are your thoughts on Black Eyed Peas? Though, I do like them better without Fergie. 
My favorite cereal is Reese Puffs cereal. My favorite songs by Biggie are Juicy, Big Papa, One More Chance, Hypnotized, The What featuring Method Man, Machine Gun Funk, Notorious Thugs featuring Bone Thugs and Harmony, Biggie Killed It, Bone Thug Style. I can't forget about Screwing You Tonight featuring R. Kelly. The beat is smooth and dirty. R. Kelly killed the chorus. You must be used to me spending and all that sweet whining and dining. Well, I'm screwing you tonight. Here's Biggie. Oh, uh, there's another one and another one. Man, Biggie was breaking it down. Some say the ex make the sex spect. Let me lick you from your neck to your back and you shivering, tongue delivering, cheers up that spine, the ass is mine. Skip the wine and the candlelight, no crystal at night. If it's all right with you, we effing. Deja vu, the blunt spar, finger effing in the paw, piss y'all because the dark. Remember when I used to play between your legs? You better for me to stop because you know we whip with head straight to your mother's bed. At the Marriott, we'd be lucky if we found a spot next to your sister. Damn, I really miss her. Way she used to rub my back when I hit that. Way she used to giggle when your ass would wiggle. I know you used to squeeze at the park of Meridian, trips to the Caribbean, but tonight, no ends. Man, I miss Biggie. He killed it, man. Uh, then you got Pub Daddy in the background going, can you feel me? Because I can feel you, R. Kelly. Take it to the clinic. <laughs> oh, I love that song. I honestly like Black Eyed Peas before and after Fergie, but I don't blame you for liking the group better before Fergie when they made um, the Joints and Jams song. That's the joint, that's the jams, and karma ain't no running from. Karma ain't no running. The group's last two albums have sucked. I don't even like their new song, Awesome, that's being used for this year's NBA playoffs. Okay, this has been my third video, so I will do a fourth questions and answers video. This has been great as usual. See ya.